Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to the true, holy, and powerful names of the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. Real name in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai Baha Shem, Rachah All right. Now, my honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well the correct doctrines and exhortations of the Heavenly Scriptures. Peace and citations to you, hopeful elect Ikeem, that's out there pushing his word in all truth, faith, sincerity, all right, fear and trembling of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, all right? Uh, uh, and as well, you few sincere Akwaf, our sisters that come across these videos, Shalom. All right, real quick, man, I just want to go into a topic um, that I had, you know, in place for a little while, but, you know, I, I kind of been slow to get to it, but I came across this, uh, this this video all right uh, and, and lord willing you know um i'll include a clip at the beginning you know if, if you're watching this lesson like at the beginning of it it was a um a woman that had screams man i'm talking about the, the screams was uh was a uh, pronoun pronoun or if i'm saying it right man just the, the screams were you know deafening that's a word you know salakia but hey that's that's how women gonna be in time to come, man. All right, all these proud, arrogant women that think they shit don't stink, and you know, yeah, you're gonna be in a pitiful case in the time to come, man. In Jacob's trouble, all right, because the house of Jacob, was Jacob's name was changed to Israel, all right. Yasher Allah, I mean, he is a prince of the power, all right. Um, primarily consists of women, man. All right, it's more women. Of, the, of our nation than there are men and I think you know that's a general statement you know it's more women in the world than men in general all right so this time of great death and destruction is going to be greatly upon uh, the women all right uh, of the world and particularly of our nation all right so-called black Latinos and Native Americans all right who are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites that the scriptures speak of all right and you see it, man. You see, you just see the pride and the arrogancy oozing off them, man. All right, when we go about our daily lives. These women don't like us like that, man. All right, and it's part of the curses, of course. You know, and for a woman too like you, you really gotta be a wicked nigga. All right, you gotta be in the world, consumed with, you know, you gotta be of the world. But Yahweh Shai, our Lord, who the world called Jesus Christ. <clears throat> he called us out of the world all right he said be ye in the world but not of the world yeah we got to be in the world we got to do you know go to work and do our daily necessities and and whatnot scriptures say money is a defense so we have to get our substances in order okay as men all right but we're not of the world man all right we're not you know focusing on participating and and being immersed in this world about you know a damn you know uh resting here pretty much what it say in micah chapter 2 and 10 it say depart depart uh rise and depart for this is not your rest okay because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction all right first mentally morally spiritually it's going to destroy you and then physically it's going to destroy you all right everything about this society breeds death Okay, but anyway, so you know, but women they like that, they love that, all right. They love, they love death. They they love it when you got that vibration of wickedness on you, man. All right, and I know, you know, back in the world, you know, being a nigga, you, you know, you know, women be choosing, as they say, all right. But hey, man, hey, the woman I want to be choosing more than anything is the Rachak Wadash, all right, the Holy Spirit. Sophia, that's the woman we ought to be wanting to, to be choosing on us, okay? And she didn't, she's not manifesting up to many, all right? So, you know, that's what that's what we want. But anyway, um, so I got a few precepts compiled here, all right, as it pertains to this topic. As you see, nigga women are going to die gruesome deaths, all right? A lot of women are going to be ravished. In that video clip that you've seen in the beginning, the woman was being abducted taken uh uh in the trunk of someone's car why you know he had onlookers 
that was uh, seeing the whole thing go down. All right, but they was powerless to stop it, you know? And then he, he drove off and that was that, you know, taking him back, taking her back to wherever to do what he gonna do, you know? So a lot of women are going to experience that, man, okay? Because because they just they just proud man they proud against the men of the Lord, all right. Women women love the bad guy, they don't love the good guy, all right. We've been called out of that bad guy mentality into the good good guy mentality, so to speak. And women don't vibrate to that. They just don't. Women of this world they don't vibrate to that man, all right. We're waiting for the kingdom. And, and, and let me say this, you know, for for you sisters that come across these videos, you sincere sisters. I'm not talking about y'all. All right, you that's, you know, humble and doing things, you know, conducive for salvation in, in, in terms of, you know, submitting to your own husbands, okay? It's not, it's not, a, it's not for y'all, you know, keep doing what you do and may the Lord, you know, uh, uh, bring forth salvation unto you. That's part of that one third, the elect women, you know? But the women in the world is, is who this lesson is geared to, man, the worldly wicked women. Okay, who got to die and perish on this side and be born again in the kingdom as righteous women. Okay, that's the only way it's going to happen for them. You see? So, you know, and um, I got a few precepts, like I said, and I'm just going to go into the first one. What's that? 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Let's go there real quick. Second Timothy chapter three and verse twelve. It says, Yea, all that will live godly in Hamashiach Yahawashai shall suffer persecution. Okay? Speaking unto us, men of the hopeful elect, Lord willing we be of that number. All right, we've chosen a path of, of godliness, all right, to be a, a Hamashiach or Christ like, you know, walking walking in his footsteps. You see? And because of that, we're going to suffer persecution. Because Yahweh Shai even said, he said, a servant is not greater than his master. Okay? And we are servants. We're walking, you know, as uh, disciples, believers. So we're going to undergo the same persecution as he did, man. Okay? Let's look at this word persecution real quick. I want to get it in Google. All right? persecution in google hostility ill treatment especially on the basis of ethnicity ethnicity religion or sexual orientation or political beliefs all right so you know in this case you know religion but it's not a religion this is uh the truth is uh our nationality okay that's what we're coming back to we're not coming back to you know, uh, religion, a man-made religion. This is divinely uh, the heavenly father. This is, is what it is. We're Israelites. We're Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay. So persecution is what we've been experiencing all within the society, man. And definitely from the women of our, our nation, man, of the various tribes. Okay. You see hostility, ill treatment, you know, they, they, they treat, they treat us with, uh, disrespect, man, you know, Ill, Ill, illy. Okay, it says especially on the basis of re ethnicity, religion. Okay, we got that. But okay, so you know, and they tend to be hostile towards us, man. Okay, because we're coming in the vibration of uh, righteousness, therefore they're hostile to us. All right. So that's pretty much the point on that. And let me go back. Verse thirteen, Second Timothy three and thirteen. It says, but evil men. You know what? Nope, that was the point. I remember that I put that precept there for that very purpose. Okay. You know, now let's go to the second one, Micah 7 and 10. Now, this is uh, pretty much, man. Hey, this, <laughs> this one right here speaks volumes. It's like it went to the wrong thing. All right, this is the book of Micah, chapter 7 and 10. It says, Then, then she that is my enemy shall see it what shall, what shall she see all right she shall see the salvation of the lord's elect right that's that's what that's what the women are gonna see man the wicked women 
They're going to see the men of the Lord who have been striving and surviving in this truth of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, the true creators of heaven and earth. All right. And 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 and, and, and it's going to go on to say it. It says, and, well, they're going to see, you know, the men being protected in that time, man. The scriptures say what? I believe it's in the book of Isaiah. I want to say the 32nd chapter. Salaki, if I'm off on that. But. You know, say the Lord shall make a man more precious than fine gold, even the golden wedge of Ophir. Okay, he shall make a man as a hiding place from the wind. The wind represents destruction in the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, so us men of the hope for the elect, who the Lord is going to endow with that, you know, either spiritual power or divine intervention, protection, women are going to gravitate to that. All right, a lot of women that's going to gravitate to it is not going to receive that salvation. Okay. What's that? Isaiah, the fourth chapter. All right, seven women shall take hold of one man. Seven represent completion. So, it, you know, it can be an infinite amount of number or a number of women that's going to come to an elect man. All right, for salvation. Asking to, you know, their, for their reproach to be taken away. Lord, will not grab that precept. You know, so that's just what it is. So, let me read, read this again. Micah 7 and, and 10. It says, Then she that is my enemy, okay, Two thirds of the women of the nation of Israel are enemies into the hopeful elect. All right, they're not with us right now. They will be in times of calamity, but like I said, for many of them, there's going to be too late. But in the kingdom, for sure, we're going to have our women back. All right, and that's going to be that. But it says, uh, "Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her." Was said unto me, "Where's the Lord of thy power?" Okay. So these women is going to be in, in, in shame. All right. Let's look at this word shame as well. <clears throat> in Google. It says uh, shame, a painful feeling of humiliation and distress caused by consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior. <laughs> all right. So all these women out here that's, you know, uh, 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 riding the cock carousel, you know, from, from cock to cock. Excuse me. Hey, excuse my excuse my French. All right, got to say it that way because, you know, that's is what it is, man. Women are are in whoredom right now. All right, the, uh, the scriptures even say there should be no whores, whoredom of the daughters of um, Israel. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay, but that is what it is right now. All right. Oh no, I say it say that thy daughter shall be a harlot in the streets. Okay, so. And that's a, that's a telltale sign that a nation has been destroyed, man, when their women are destroyed. Okay? That's the glory of a man is the woman. All right? If our woman ain't with us, then you already know that we, we fucked. Anyway, <clears throat> it says a you know painful feeling of humiliation, distress caused by conscious of wrong or foolish behavior. So women are going to be conscious of all their wrong and foolish behavior that they've done. That's why Isaiah 40, uh, the fourth chapter, it says what it says, man. They're going to be asking an elect man to take away their reproach. All right. Reproach goes into shame and, you know, they, they're they going to be reproached by the Lord. You know, right now they can't see it because the world caters to women. Right. Men grovel at women's feet. OK. You see. So. uh, That's the point. Now, let's go back. Micah 7 and 10 again, it says, And then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? That's what women say, you know. Especially us who are on the highways and edges. They see us out there. <laughs> look at these, look at these fools, you know. Where is where is the Lord they talking about? You know? That's that's what they think. They not, they might not verbalize. You got women that have may have verbalized it to, you know, Akim in times past, but you know, I personally haven't witnessed a woman come up and just say, you know, scoffing in, in, in that regard. But sure enough, they, they thinking it. Anyway, <clears throat> it says, Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. All right. So we're going to we're going to see this, Lord willing. All right. We're going to see the woman being trodden down as the mud or the mire of the streets. OK. Wicked Israelite women, women in general, but particularly wicked israelite women all right you see now uh, let me see trotten i want to get this word as well but let me look it up in there in the blue letter because i think i did all right let's do this real quick 
<clears throat> Strong's H4823. Mirmas. Mirmas. Alright, and it says to trample in place, trample, trampling. Okay. So, yeah, it's not really going in, in deep with it. Let's look at it. In Google, it says to trample is to tread on and crush. Damn. These women are going to be uh, crushed out here, man. Literally. <sighs> so like it. it says to walk over, to squash, to flatten, to compress, to compact, to pound. <sighs> man. You know? So that's this speaking of gruesome judgment, man. Just extrapolate what this is talking about. All right? They're going to they're going to be um they're going to face gruesome deaths, man. Blood splattering death. Right, unless they cleave unto a man of the Lord, okay, that's the only way and means of uh, redemption and salvation that's going to be offered unto them. The other one, it says to treat with contempt. You know, and women treat us with contempt as of right now. All right, let's look at this word contempt. I feel like going into definitions right now. All right, it says contempt, a feeling that a person or a thing is beneath consideration worthless or deserving scorn <laughs> come on man come on is that not how women look at us men nowadays man us israelite men all right they look at us like we don't we're beneath them we're beneath consideration <sighs> whatever you know unless you're a wicked nigga that's just you know got a little money and you know doing whatever to, you know scamming and drug dealing you know they, they'll go for that, but, you know, because, you know, women are vain. They're going off the, the appearance, you know. So, yeah, but this is how women really think of, think think about us, man. Like, we worthless, deserving scorn, all right? The whole world, of course, but, you know, I'm, I'm touching on the women right now, all right, of the nation of Israel. Uh, it says, this, uh, disregard for something that should be taken into account. Disregard for something that should be taken into account. We should be taken into account, but we understand, all right, that we this ain't our time to shine. Our time to shine is coming when Yahweh Shai, when the Lord Yahweh sends his son Yahweh Shai back upon the planet Earth to redeem the elect, along with the you know the heavenly host, the armies of heaven, all right, to to destroy the society and to deliver his elect. That's what we're waiting on, man. Okay, so. We ain't worried about getting that recognition right now, man. Okay? Leave that for the sellout niggas, man. Anyway, so that's the point. All right. And we can actually go to the next precept that I got here. <clears throat> First Thessalonians 4, 7. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. It's the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 7. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yep. It says, uh, For the Most High have called us unto uncleanness, have not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. All right? Us of the hopeful elect, that's what the Lord has called us unto. All right? To be holy. Holy means to be what? Separate. All right? Separate from the ways of this world, man. That's what we've been called unto. And we just read the scripture, you know, when it said, All that, did, you know, that desire to live godly shall suffer persecution. Okay? Verse eight, he therefore that is that despiseth, he or she, therefore that despiseth, desp despiseth not man, but the most high, who have also given us of his Holy Spirit. Okay, so ultimately that's what it is right there, man. You're not despising just us mere men when you scoff and you know whatever, look down upon us. All right, you're despising the spirit within us that the Lord Yahweh Shai have opened unto us. All right, that's what you're ultimately despising. You're fighting against the Lord. All right, you're fighting a losing battle, man. Okay, you see, man, that's that's something heavy that a wise person would consider, but the people in the world they they don't know, you know, you know. But anyway, uh, let's go to the next one. From there, let's go to Isaiah two and eleven. All right, Isaiah. Chapter 2, beginning in verse 11, it says, The lofty looks of man 
the lofty looks of man or woman, all right, shall be humbled. And the haughtiness of man or woman shall be bowed down. And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Okay? All right? Because the names of the Lord is going to be magnified. All right? Not Megan Thee Stallion, not Cardi B, not any of these um, entertainers, man. All right? These glorified sluts. Uh, uh, goddamn um, Kim Kardashian and shit. You know? No. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going to be magnified in the earth, man. All right? Verse 12, it says, Now look at that. <laughs> the, the title right there says, A day of reckoning is coming. Damn right, man. A day of reckoning. All right? Particularly for you, for you, um, well, I ain't going to say particularly, but you know, I'm talking about the women right now. So, day of reckoning for you women is going to come, man. It says, For the day of the Lord of hosts, hosts meaning armies, all right? For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty and upon everyone that is lifted up and he or she shall be brought low. All right. That's what's going to happen, man. All right. A reverse of the mentality that these women have of pride. Proverbs uh, 6 and 18. Pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. All right. So that's what's going to come, man. All right. So it, it will behoove you, behoove us. All right, to be in a humble-minded uh, state. All right, and we got to pray for humility, you know, because, you know, it's not always, you know, the easiest thing. You know, you, you might think that you're being humble, but, you know, in certain ways, you might be prideful. So, you know, we pray to Yahweh Bashmi al Shai that he keeps, you know, puts a humble spirit upon us, all right? <clears throat> uh, lastly, let's go to 2 Ezra 16 and 31. All right. Second Ezra 16 and 31 and we can close it out. All right. It's the book of Second Ezra chapter 16 and 31. It says, Even so in those days there shall be three or four left that shall search their houses with the sword. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is what I want. Okay. Yeah, this is talking about Jacob's trouble, man. All right? They're going to, hey, people are going to be few in number. We're coming into a time where people are going to be dying by the thousands. We're going to have a, a goddamn 9-11 type event every week, every other day. Literally. Okay? All right? And it says, uh, you know, there, there, uh, even so in those days, there should be three or four left by them which search the houses with the sword. The sword goes into the gun. People are going to be, Lord, uh, you know, searching each other's houses, man, robbing and, and, and pillaging each other. All right, for the lack of bread, as it says in uh, Second Ezra the fifteenth chapter. Okay. So, verse thirty-two it says, "The earth shall be laid waste with, with you know, various destructions and you know, nukes." It says, "And the fields thereof shall wax old." And her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns because no man shall travel therein. Right. You know, if you leave a city unmaintained, take away the maintenance of the city, you know, the, the you know, the workers, you know, you're going to have thorns growing up from out of the, the concrete. You know, it's going to look unmaintained. It's going to look like a jungle, a concrete jungle. All right. First. But um, well, what's the main point I want? Verse 33. Yeah. And the virgins shall mourn. The virgins, the the uh, the women, the the young women. All right, they gonna be out here mourning, man. Why? It says the virgins, virgins shall mourn, having no hus, no bridegrooms. And the women shall mourn. The bridegrooms going to into their husbands. All right, the women that got husbands now, they probably got a wicked nigga for their husband. All right, because that's what they like. It says um, having no no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. You see? All around the board. It says verse 34. In the wars shall their bridegroom be destroyed. And their husbands shall perish of famine. Alright? So that's what it is, man. Alright? A lot of these women's going to be uh, widowed out here, man. You see? And it's only going to be by the grace of the Most High that puts it on um, in the elect man's spirit. You know, to take upon him a woman in this condition. 
okay? If not, they're just gonna die right along with their husbands, man, okay? So yeah, a time of, uh, what, what was the title again? It's like, yeah, you know? <clears throat> nigga women are going to die gruesome deaths, all right? So if you're not a nigga woman, it, it don't pertain to you, but, all right? The, the wicked women of this world, they're gonna die some gruesome deaths, man. It is, is what it is, all right? We've, we've been called to tell the truth, man. Okay, we can't, that's what we gotta do. We can't lie and sugarcoat things. You got IUIC that wanna cater to women and say, you know, get you a wife and they, they do certain things that let women teach, which goes against the scriptures, okay? No, here, us at Great Millstone, we are gonna give it to you raw, man, and uncut and tell you like it is, man. All right, these women are gonna fucking uh, uh, die out here, man. It is what it is, you know? And, and, and women that turn back and repent, they're gonna be spared, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna close it out on that note. And I pray and hope that Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you off the lick. I came while I quaff out there. All right, and you know, it made sense. Um, but yeah, to the next time I say shalom.